Hi, flower friends. I'm at the nursery and I'm actually getting delivery right now of crushed stone for the flooring of greenhouse number one. Right there is good. We're moving it into here. <laughs> one we Yeah, I think so. Here we go. This is all of the stone that we're gonna be using to basically level out the floor in greenhouse number one. This is what they recommended. This is what other nurseries and greenhouses have used in the past. This means that the floor is going to be able to drain the water that the plants are going to be um, given for life. And it also means that it's gonna be a little bit easier on your joints than concrete. So this is what we're gonna be using. We are talking about maybe putting a landscape cloth over top of it when it's all said and done, but we're gonna have to wait and see what happens. We took the shade cloths off of house number one and house number two. They were kind of unnecessary at this point in the year. They were um, just really preventing. And when we took them off, the label said 50% shade cloth. So that's how much sun they were blocking. But we figured now that the temperatures are colder, it doesn't need to happen. Plus they needed to come off for the snow. Well. Not only that, but we're having these replaced and I'm actually having a professional come in to install the new poly on all four of the houses. This is the space. It's a uh, school just let out. So there's a lot of traffic. The school is actually just up the road here. So when the teachers and students get out for the day, this gets heavy traffic, which is great. You know, when I'm open <laughs> right now though, we have to use that to fill in and level out this floor. Um, we priced out concrete and it was just gonna be astronomical. That load that we just had delivered was less than $500, which is a fraction of the price that it was gonna cost to redo the concrete in here. And after speaking to the former owners, he said, um, after working for hours and hours on your feet, the last thing you wanna be standing on is concrete. We're gonna be packing it in with a machine, making it nice and flat and level. Actually, I have to text my father right now and, and tell him to fire up his leveling machine. He's got one of those um, lasers that lets you know when things are level. So anyway, that's what that is for. And we are going to make this a nice usable space in here. Okay, there's something that's been bothering me for a long time. We just have the stone delivered here, but this fan, I told my husband and my cousin that I wanted it white and they misunderstood me and they thought I wanted it black. Um, I definitely did not want it black and I kind of felt bad because they did all the work to make it black and now I, I can't do it, I want it white. So I'm gonna paint it <laughs> so that it, I just kind of wanted it to kind of blend in with the front of the house. It doesn't look horrible, but it's just not the look I was going for. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a coat of paint on it right now. Okay, back at the nursery, I painted the first coat of white last night. I know a lot of you guys wanted to see my hair without a hat on, so here we go. This is it. I'm expecting a delivery of uh, the new polys. So these plastics, it's coming today. Um, I just got a phone call that they're pretty close, so I'm waiting for that delivery. And then I'm gonna put on a painting shirt and put the second coat of white on the fan. Oh, it's so much better with the, without the black. And I'm thinking that's about it for today. We do have the family, all four of us have dentist appointments this afternoon for our regular cleaning. So we have to head out and go do that. It's kind of been off and on raining this morning. So I was hesitant to put the second coat on, but I'm going for it. What I forgot to do is order the poly for in here, the atrium area. Um, it does bubble up nicely. It's, it does have some um, holes but we were able to patch it. You see, there's a piece of tape right there. There's a piece of tape right above me. So it, I think it's gonna be okay. Okay, so there it is. It's, I mean, it's pretty hideous with just one coat, but that's because I painted over black. So let's get coat number two going. And while I am putting on coat number two, I wanna share with you guys some other updates that we've done here at the nursery over the past week or so. I would say week and a half. I know on my video, I kind of went over a week without posting a video and just to be 100% honest with you guys, we had two um, deaths in our family and there was just so much going on that the making of the videos and the sharing, as important that as that is, 
it had to go um, to the back burner because we did have some some serious stuff going on. And um, we also spent a day in the emergency room for someone in my family. So it was just a lot of a lot of kind of chaos here for the past couple of weeks. But I do want to share the stuff that we were able to get done. We started to tackle greenhouse number four. Now this is the greenhouse that, ha it's the newest greenhouse, but it also is the greenhouse that hasn't been used in several years. Now it does not have any benches in there, but it does have you know space for hanging things. And I do have to put drip irrigation in that. But guys, this stuff costs thousands of dollars. I think my quote to put irrigation in greenhouse number four was $1,200. So these things I'm, I'm, I'm doing a little at a time because the costs are adding up really quickly and obviously I don't have any income coming in here in the nursery. I mean it's a it's not a lot of income. The mums generated a little bit of income, the bulbs are generating a little bit of income, but not enough to pay for these major improvements. I have a ton of help from family, just like always, my mom, my brother, my sister, Brad, the kids were here, my mother and father-in-law, my aunt Jan, everyone is always willing to jump in 100% and help us out with this. It's really a family project. The main issues in number four were the weeds, like major, you know, saladago, which is goldenrod, and milkweed, and some stuff that I don't even know, I cannot identify it. Along with some, I'm pretty sure geranium, some geranium was growing all over the place in there. But we're starting the process of pulling all of that out. And there was also a lot of garbage in there. Not only garbage, but bags of like the quick concrete that had been sitting there for who knows how long. They were hard as a rock. So we actually brought in the tractor, which it's kind of nice that the doors were broken on this thing because that is allowing us to drive the tractor right in and take care of a lot of these issues. We're doing that. That's not done yet, but it's really close to being done. We still have to move those giant tables out of that place so that we can redo the floor in there. If there's any of this crushed stone that we just had delivered left over, we'll definitely be using that to put the floor and level the floor in uh, greenhouse number four. But we are not sure how much we're gonna have left over. We might have to bring in another, at least half a load. The space in here is gonna be really good. And my plan for in here is not to buy benches right away. Again, everything costs so much money that instead of putting benches in greenhouse number four right away, I'm gonna bring in the hanging baskets and hang those up top. And then the geranium hanging baskets that I'll be growing, a couple hundred of those, they'll be able to set right on the floor. I was told by other people in the business that the geraniums do not need to hang, that they're more of an upright hanging basket, especially the first few months that you're growing them. Uh, they don't need to be separated and hanging like the other products do. So that's my plan right now for greenhouse number four. Everything is kind of overwhelming and I'm making these decisions as they come. And I don't have everything planned out yet because all of the information in my head is swirling around like a giant mess and I'm pulling pieces out when I'm like, okay, grasping onto this, this makes sense, let's move forward with this. That's kind of how this project is happening. It's okay, what do I have the funds for and what can I get done before the winter to make this place um, able to open up in the early spring to grow these plants on. There's nothing final here with this video. I didn't, I'm not showing you something from beginning to end, but if I tried to do that, I just wouldn't be able to make any videos because things are taking a long time to come to a completion, if you will. So here are some projects in the middle of being completed and I wanted to bring you guys as much as I can. That's the shade cloth. We moved the shade cloth in here. They're labeled which one goes on which house. I think it's in decent shape. We need to get more because obviously number three and number four need to have shade cloth as well, but that didn't come with the place. So another thing to put on my order. Anyway, thanks for sticking around guys. We'll see you soon. I'm just using something I already have. We used this on our porch before. It's a paint and primer combined semi-gloss exterior. Well, I got about one, <laughs> one part painted here and the school nurse just called and my daughter has a high fever. So pause on this and uh, we'll be painting again in the next video, I guess. Okay, I'm back. Veda's sitting in the nursery up in the retail section while I do the painting because I can't go home until the poly is delivered. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and do what I can. And then as soon as the poly is dropped off, which is this morning, then I can take her home so she can relax. Uh, COVID test is negative, by the way. So sounds just like she has the flu. Second coat complete, just in time too. It's starting to mist rain clouds, but hopefully it dries enough. It's starting to blend right in. So what do you think? Brad says that he prefers it still um, black, but I definitely prefer the white. There's a little space right there. It might be just be a gap. I'll just have to fill that with something. Yeah, a little bit of a gap. I'll just fill it with something and it's starting to look much better. Okay, here's the before and the after. I much prefer the after. I know there are gonna be some people in the before camp and that's okay, it doesn't bother me a bit. Anyway, here are a couple of other clips from earlier this month here at the nursery. Thanks for sticking around guys, we'll see you soon. Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and today we're at the nursery and I've opened up for a bulb sale. I have bulbs set out, they're packaged in just ba bags of 10 for the home gardener and I'm selling those today plus I have a crew here, as in my mom and my sister, and we are cleaning out greenhouse number four. Greenhouse number four hasn't been used in a few years, and it's actually full of weeds and garbage. So we need to clean that out and get that ready for hopefully growing on some hanging baskets this spring. I wanted to recoup some of my shipping costs for um, ordering all these bulbs for the farm. So I decided to package these in just bags of 10 and then people are able to come. We've had a couple customers so far, but there's also a huge fall festival today. So I'm not sure how many people are gonna come by, but I am gonna have this open for the next couple of weeks in case anyone would like to stop and grab some tulip. And I do have a couple of daffodil bulbs. There's the apricot whirl and then the petite four daffodil and those will be here for sale as well. So if anyone wants some beauty for their own house this spring, now is the time to plant those bulbs. Okay, we are cleaning out number four. Here's my mom. A lot of people were concerned about how you were feeling, mom. Oh, I'm good, I'm better. Okay. Holy crow, these are down in there lightly. Nope, it's clean out day for number four. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna get some gloves. What else do you think we need? I don't really have a shovel. Um, here I have like that shovel here. I don't have oh, like a no. spade type shovel here right. uh, But I do have like a little a hoe. I'll go get that. Okay. Yeah, that would help. Let's see. Oh My gosh Alrighty. Oh look at you set up here with your little paint station Yay. Well, Back to painting what yeah, you do best painting. Just needed a break from the weeds well, so this um, has a rough side and a smooth side. Yeah. So I'm gonna do one coat on this rough side because you gotta put so much more on yeah. to get it to put, sink in. And then I'll do two coats on the other side. Sounds like a and plan. It should uh, cover nicely. So. Cool. Not bad, huh? It's coming along. Yeah, no, they were on the ground, so I had to clean them all up. That's why it's taking me so oh. long. I thought I heard a big truck is Brad here. No, he left. Do you hear how loose that plastic is? It shouldn't be banging like yeah, that. Yeah, I know. We'll Plastic we'll is it. so we'll loose it. and ripped that it's banging around pretty you good. Got somebody coming, right? Yeah, I ordered them yesterday. Oh, cool. I ordered the new polys. Uh, what does say? How long it's gonna take? He didn't, but I'm assuming by the end of the week they'll be here. Cool. Okay. We should even go faster on this side because it's smooth. Even though I gotta put two coats on, it should go faster. There's been evidence that a skunk's been digging in, um, and I'm nervous because it could be here right now. Oh, okay, Brad put, Brad put a stopper thing there. It's been digging underneath here, and I'm thinking maybe hanging out back there, but let's see if it tried. Definitely tried to get in again. It's been digging. It's got cute little skunk footprints. It's cute as hell, <laughs> but I don't really want to see it. It's also been digging in right there. So it 
It's finding a way in either way. Not cool. Something in my eye. I think it's an eyelash. Okay. What's that? You're really big and awkward? <laughs> See, this, is, this would be us putting the plastics up. This is why we're paying somebody else to do it the first time. Okay, I'm back. Veda's sitting in the front of the nursery while I finish this job because I have to wait for the poly to be... Mm -hmm. I'm up here.